Hello and welcome to Onprint Shop. In this video, we will go through what is product category and what is product category groups. We will see how to create the product categories and how to create product category groups. And we will also go through what are the main benefits or advantages of creating the groups and how you can change the display of the home page using these product category groups and categories. So let's just dive into it. Now let us first understand uh, what is category groups. <clears throat> Here uh, when you see on this website you have this categorized in commercial printing. Now in commercial printing you have category uh, business card and in that business card category you have different products. Same way it has been categorized, it has been grouped as a wide format and in a group this is the category first, second and third and in these categories you have different kind of products. Now if you go on to the product page, the groups will come first, will appear first and after the groups it will appear the categories. Now you see over here there are three tiers, one, two and three and if you go down the category will be displayed. So the total number of groups that you have created will appear first over here and then the category appears. What are the advantages of creating these groups? Now if you have very large products, large number of products and you want to display it. So if you display it in the same pool, no categorization, no groupings, then it the list will go long and the customer won't be able to understand and won't be able to get the product he desires. So let us go and check that. Now here if you go on to the from store or the admin panel and for creating a, a group or category you have to go to products and then you go to product category. Now when I click on product category it will display me the option to add the category over here and whatever the categories are created will be displayed in this manner. Now here the group option is defaultly inactivated so for that you have to go into store configuration settings and enable that settings from here. Now let us first understand on the store from here right now. If I go on to the options and I see all the categories and inside those categories these products are displayed. So let me go and first enable the category group option. So go to store configuration settings and search for group. If you search for group there are three options yes, no and yes with groups. Now to enable the groups you have to select this option. Now let me select this one no. As soon as I select this no and click on save. Yep. The category option itself goes away from here so now there is no option at all. That means now if you go onto the storefront and refresh the page, all you find is all the products are here in a same pool, in a single pool. Everything is there in single pool, no categorization. So this option, when you select this option as no, so there won't be any categorization, no groupings at all. Now let me click on yes with groups. And if I click on yes with group and save, now you will find the option over here on the second tab as add category group. Now let me create a category group first and then we will go and assign the categories and the products to that. Click on add category group. Now you can create uh, the, it is not mandatory that you should create the group first then you should create the category and then you should create a product or vice versa. You can create the category first then you can create the group and you can create the product later on. Now I'll create the category title over here the visiting cards. I'm not uploading any any all these things I'll just go and click on save and so I have here I have created a category group called visiting card. Here it is. Now if I go onto the front store and refresh the page and check 
whether I have that group or not. No, it is not there. It won't come because there is nothing inside that group. Let us add a category to that group. So what I'll do, I'll create a new category called premium business part. Okay, I'll create, now I'm creating a product category. I'll create a premium business cards. Now in the, I'll go and select what category I wanted, what group I wanted rather. So I'll select this and we'll display it on here. I upload the image from the category image that I'm uploading. This is the, for example, category image of the product. Now, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just clicking it and save and back. Now, so, what I have done, I have now created a visiting category and the uh, visiting category group and a category called premium business card. Now, you can see the premium business card category is inside this category group. Again, if I go on to the front store, still I don't find my category, neither I find my category group. This is because the product is not assigned. Now let us go and assign a product to that category. So if I go and assign a standard business card. Now before that, I would like to create one more category. So you'll be able to understand more clearly. Let me add one more category over here. That is premium business card and the second one is economic business card. Now this could be the image of economic business card. Here you go and click on save. So, so here also I will select the category group as visiting card and here I go I will click on save and back. So save and back means will give me the economic business card and the group which is associated with that. So now I will go and assign a product now here I have standard business card which is for the economic class or here I'll go and assign this to this category now please remember product is assigned to the category and category is assigned to the groups I click on action add it later on also you can change the a category based on your requirement or you can assign the category while you create a product so here the default category is business card i'll change it to economic business card and we'll just click on save and back now what we have done number one we have created the category groups and which is enable also now if i go on to the front store and refresh the page I have the category groups over here visiting card and in that category group I have category economic business card and in that I have standard business card. Now let me create sign the other product understand more properly. Now I'll go and select the plastic business card if I have okay this plastic business card is there which is for the premium class okay that is little bit costlier so i'll assign this to the premium category i'll click on action add it and then i'll move on to the default category and here i'll select the premium business card category and click on save and add now if i go on to the front store and refresh my page here I find visiting cards. This is the group. This is the first category where you have plastic business card. This is the economic business card category. Now you can assign or sort it the sort the order as per your liking. From here you go in here and sort the order of these categories. Right? It will be sort based on the groups. In this group, if you go to visiting card. Here you have the categories. So now let me go on with the settings and let me show how it will you can change the display of the home page. If I go in here, 
on the home page right now the categories uh, the products are displayed right all the products are displayed over here now suppose if I want to display the category over here all the categories I want to display so what I have to do I have to go on to the store configuration settings and go to theme settings and search on home and here you have it is display in the middle area of the home page what you can do you can just display the category product category and click on save so when I change this display my categories will be displayed on the home page not so when I go in here it is not showing up now why it is not showing up because you have not opted the categories to be displayed on the home page so let us go and allow the categories to be displayed on the home page so what I'll do I'll go into premium business card click on action and add it now please remember unless and until you allow your category to be displayed on the home page it will not be displayed so click on save click on there enable that and click on save and back now again if, now if I go onto the home page and refresh my premium business card category is displayed now if my customer clicks on here it will land me into the plastic business card it will land into the plastic business card over here and from here you can select so the view or the layout or the display or the process is changed by changing the settings from the store configuration settings now again let me go and enable to be displayed on the home page as for this category called economic business card so I will go in here click on action click on add it and I am going to allow this category also to be displayed on the home page I will enable this option click on save and back and now if I go on to home page I will be able to see two product categories over here that is economic and premium business card economic and premium business cards so this way you can create the category category groups and can display on the home page now if you want to display the category over here same as this one then you click on that let us place our category group visiting card on the header portion or on the links so for that what you have to do you have to go to store personalization click on add a footer links and create a link add a link add a footer place a link of uh, give the name as visiting card select the icon if you want whatever icon you want you can place the icon appropriately and just selecting this icon and now from here you need to select the category group and select the category group that you want from here from the list so select appropriate list and place on save now if I go on to the from store and refresh the page I have my visiting card over here so what I'll do again I'll go and sort the order and I increase the sort order to 4 and click on save now I'll go on to here now my category group is displayed when I click on there it will display my category over here and then it will display the plastic business card so I have shown you two ways how to display your category or category groups on the home page in the middle area and how to create a category group on to the header footer link so this way you can create the categories in category groups thank you for watching this video see you in the next video have a nice time take care bye bye